Hey guys, if you're getting ready to order a GMB or if you want to protect your Google My Business, you're going to want to watch this video. There are steps you need to do before you even order your GMB. So watch this. Okay guys, so as you know, uh, Google My Businesses or GMB listings are being suspended at a record rate. And I get a lot of clients asking me questions or people just viewing the YouTube uh, videos asking me questions. Hey, my GMB got suspended or I'm not being ranked as well. What could I do? And here's the issue. The issue is actually before you even set up your GMB, there are things that you need to do. All right, so we're going to get into that in the in this video. Thanks for watching. If um, if you'd like, please give me a thumb up, thumbs up, and also subscribe to this video. Okay. So with that being said, so we're all starting to catch on that if you use the keyword in the Google My Business name and you use the city, you have a better chance of ranking. And almost overnight, you're going to go from the second page in the more places on the maps listings to the first page. We all know that. However, the person who set up your SEO, or if you did it yourself, you got a bunch of citations and you set up your Yelp page and so on and so forth with just the name Edison Electric or maybe uh, Mr. Electric as you could see here in the example that I'm showing. So all your citations, all everything about your business says Mr. Electric or Edison Electric, but just on your Google My Business, all of a sudden it says Edison Electric, Electricians of St. Petersburg, or below that, Weston's St. Petersburg Electrician, right? Because everybody's catching on to add the city name and add what you, what you do, either electrician, or a plastic sur or surgeon or you know, a DUI lawyer and and um, Google's taking a look at that and they're suspending your GMB and then we're saying well how do I get it back and it's a whole hassle so before you even get your GMB before you even sign up your GMB here are the steps these are the things that you must do before you even get your GMB I hope that's clear do not just go and get your GMB and call it Edison Electricians of St. Petersburg. Do not do that. Or don't call it Mr. Electric and then add uh, Electricians of St. Petersburg later on. You need to do these things first. So step one, you need an office or desk address, whether that's in the building that you own or rent or if uh, you're working out of your house, you don't want people to come to your house, you may want to go on Craigslist and look for desk space and rent an office for one month. Get the address. And let's just say that the address is 1010 Main Street, St. Petersburg, Florida, 33781. Write that address down. And now we're going to use that address. So step Two, if this is an already existing business like that Mr. Electric, but you want to call it Mr. Electric Electricians of St. Petersburg, Florida, you need to get a DBA. However, if it's a brand new business, you need to get sole proprietor paperwork or you need to get uh, LLC or corporate paperwork. And you could just go on the web and type in uh, sole proprietorship, setting up a sole proprietorship. Uh, there's a website called LegalZoom, and I think it's about $90, and they will do all the paperwork that you need for either a DBA or a sole proprietorship. Uh, in the meantime, if Google questions it, you just let them know because of COVID, the paperwork is slowed down. However, you put in for uh, either a DBA or a sole proprietorship or an LLC, whatever you, whatever you did. But you need to have paperwork with the business name that you want to view that you want to use. You're allowed to use Mr. Electric of St. Petersburg. You're allowed to use New York City DUI lawyers. You're allowed to use those names if that's the name of your business. You can't be Jones and Jones Law and then change your your um, your Google My Business name to uh, New York City DUI lawyers. 
So step three is get signage, business cards, and t-shirts with the name that you're going to use for the GMB. So if you're going to use electric, uh, Electrical Solutions of St. Petersburg, go get some business cards, get some signage made, get one or two t-shirts. Uh, you can get, order all that up on the web for less than 50, for less than $50. But make sure you have that, that name, the GMB name that you want to use, put it on your signage and also include a logo. You need it for branding purposes. Step four, sign up with Yelp and Bing. Yelp and Bing are going to verify by sending either a text or a voicemail message to verify the phone number when you sign up with both uh, Yelp and Bing. You want to do that because these are two data aggregator sites and um, Google checks with both Yelp and with Bing to see if the name like New York City electricians or uh, DUI lawyer of St. Petersburg, if that's your name, if your address is 1010 Main Street, your zip code is 33781, whatever your zip code is, you know, whatever your phone number. So sign up with uh, Yelp and sign up with Bing and make sure you use the name that you're going to use in your Google My Business. You're going to use New York City Electricians. That's your name in Yelp and that's your name in Bing. So for step five, guys, you want to order a press release and you want to order um, a data aggregator package. Now, let me just explain what those two are. Go over to Web 20 Ranker or Web 2.0 Ranker, but it's Web 20 Ranker.com. And just go over to shop by category and um, order a press release. They'll write the press release for you, or you could have somebody over at Fiverr write the press release. So uh, the press release may be that uh, Jones Electric uh, has created a DBA to handle with their Manhattan work um, called New York City Electricians, right? So use that example for, for you. You're a... Uh, you're a, a, a plastic surgeon in San Francisco and you're a Smith plastic surgeon. You get the idea, right? You're going to be a plastic surgeons of San Francisco or, or, or a section of Chinatown, San Francisco, right? So that's where you want to be found. So write a press release on either your new business or on your DBA. And that press release will go out to all the news stations. It'll go out to about hundreds, hundreds of news stations will pick up the story that you changed that. So that's a really good sign. And then make sure in the press release, you add your NAP, your name, address, and phone number, and your website. And yes, add the name uh, that you're going to be using in your Google My Business. All right, so I hope that makes sense. Now, the next thing you want to do is is go over to uh, Web20 Ranker once again and order a data aggregator package. It's real simple. You'll just give them your information and um, your information will be sent out to all these data aggregators like Info Group and Factual and Newstar and uh, all the big data services will pick up your name, address, and phone number. And that is real important because Google checks the web to see if the information you put in to the Google My Business matches what's around the web. So you do want to get an aggregator service in addition to citations. We'll talk about citations next. One of the places that I like to get citations from is this website called Local Citation Services. So just Google Local Citation Services, you'll see this website and they do great citations. You could also go over to Fiverr and uh, go check out Virtual Girl 2010. Be careful, there's a lot of now Virtual Girls on, uh, on Fiverr. Make sure you use the Virtual Girl 2010. But, um, or you could go over to Web20 Ranker and go get yourself 200 citations. All right, 
Now make sure you get the citations and you do all this other work before you um, uh, do your Google My Business, before you set up your Google My Business. All right, get your citations, get your citations in step six. Okay guys, so in step seven, it's real simple. This is the fun part. This is where the magic starts to happen. You go over to Fiverr and have uh, your social media set up. They'll set up your accounts like your Facebook, your Twitter, your LinkedIn. Send them over your logo, send them your name, address, and phone number. Maybe uh, you know a little paragraph about what you do and they'll get you started. They'll send you back the usernames and passwords. They should already be verified. And then take all the pictures that you've accumulated of you wearing the shirt, holding the sign, your business card, holding your DBA pictures, and upload them all to your social media. Take 50 pictures, upload them all to your social media, put a little text underneath it, and try to get reviews. Get some Facebook, some LinkedIn reviews by, uh, by people who have used your service or are going to use your service, right? See the magic is starting to happen? The magic's starting to happen here. You're already building a trail on the web prior to setting up your Google My Business. Now, if somebody complains, oh, he's New York City electrician, that's not his name. Well, Google's gonna go, okay, let's check. And they're gonna check along the web. Your social's gonna be set up. Your data aggregator's going to be set up. You have pictures set up. You did it, baby, you did it. And that's how you keep your keyword and your city name. And there's a, a much, much better chance of it getting, all right, let's, let's, say, let's say it gets knocked down. Let's say it gets, I say it's impossible, but nothing's impossible. It gets knocked down. Well, you already have your paperwork. Submit your paperwork and say, yeah, we are in New York City. Here's my DBA. They have to reinstate it. <laughs> they have to reinstate it. They're not gonna knock out your, your Google My Business because somebody complained if you have, uh, if all around the web, that's what you're known as. How you get suspended is when you start keyword stuffing in your Google My Business, and then they check, check your, Yelp, your Yelp account and your Jones accounting firm, right? Your Jones accounting firm on Yelp, but all of a sudden on Google My Business, your tax preparation lawyers don't let April 15th come. You know, you all these crazy keywords on your Google My Business, but everywhere else around the, uh, around the web, you're just plain old Jones accountant, right? I think we all do that. I can't tell you, look, I've done it in the past, and in the past it wasn't a problem, but now it's a problem. So now you have to, pre have to prepare. So there's some people listening to this video going, oh my God, that's what I did. That's what I did. What do I do? What do I do? Don't panic. You need to rebrand yourself. <laughs> That's all. You just need to rebrand yourself. You could fix your citations. There are, there are websites like um, the Hoth, H-O-T-H.com, that will fix your citations. Uh, I don't like using them, but Yext.com will fix your citations. I don't like using them, not because they're a bad service, it's because they're extremely expensive. They're about anywhere from 500 to thousand dollars. I forget the packages that I, I, would per, I used to purchase through them. Uh, but they'll fix all your citations, meaning that if your name, address, and phone number is wrong, if your name is wrong, hey, it's worth the investment. It's worth a thousand dollar investment. If you're Jones Accounting and you really wanna take over you know, your area in accounting or electrician or DUI law or whatever you do, it's worth it. Go over to Yext and, uh, and do it. But there's other ways to do it. You need to rebrand yourself, right? But let's prepare even before you make that mistake, even before you make the mistake of uh, changing the Google My Business, go back and rebrand yourself. Fix everything, right? And if you if you haven't opened the GMB yet, then this video is perfect for you because you're gonna see all seven steps to creating a great, powerful GMB. Hey guys, so I hope this video helped you. You wanna do these seven steps prior to opening your GMB, before starting your GMB. Let's wait about a month before you sign up for your GMB, right? Do all these seven steps 
and then wait about a month and then sign up with your GMB. Create some strong brand signals across the web. Sign up with your GMB and then you're gonna be strong. You're gonna be strong. I don't know if you heard my dog, but he's been he's snoring. Ugh, I don't wanna wake him up. He's been snoring behind me the whole time. So if you heard some weird sounds, I swear it's really my dog. Hey, if you, uh, if you enjoyed my video, please uh, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. Uh, also, I have some donation links uh, down uh, in the comment section below in the description box. So if you want to donate to the channel, if you enjoyed the video, that would be great. You know, please uh, donate. I, I ask for $2.99 if you could spare that. If not, that's fine. I have a review link. If this video helped you, please uh, leave me, a, leave me a, a five star review. If you felt it was five star and uh, a Google review, the link is in the description box below. And uh, other than that, man, uh, this was a great lesson, and I enjoyed doing it. And like I always say, uh, please tell your family that you love them, and uh, give your kids a kiss. Make sure you're always doing the right thing with your family, even if sometimes it hurts, even if sometimes you feel like, uh, eh, I think I'm being taken advantage of a little bit. That's okay. That's all right. You're dad. <laughs> and the reason why I say dad is because 98% of my viewers are men. So... Uh, and if you're mom, you're probably dad too. So you're doing two jobs. So, you know, always do the right thing by your kids. That's the most important thing, man. That's the most important thing. Uh, my sons are getting older now, and, uh, you know, I get a call from them, you know, I guess every day. I get a call from them just about every day. But I, I, I treasure the time that we have together, and uh, we always have a good time. And I always tell them how much I appreciate them. That's real important. So I know you guys do the same thing. I know you do the same thing. All right, guys. So uh, until tomorrow, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Keep up the great work. Do these seven steps prior to opening your GMB, signing up with your GMB. And uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.